Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Teardown. Um, today we have this rather large machine here uh, that I've got down in the kitchen. Uh, this is an AMO uh, Sovereign White Star FACO machine. Um, FACO machines are um, essentially uh, a device which has an ultrasonic needle uh, which allows you to perform cataract operations. So these FACO machines, they have uh, various things built into them just to allow, just to make things a bit easier for the surgeon. So they have a, an integrated water supply, uh, pumps, they have uh, the outputs for the FACO um, hand tools, um, and there's various settings and things that you can, you can do. Um, you also have a foot, uh, foot pedal to control the whole thing, um, which of course, if you're using both your hands to do the actual surgery, you need to, uh, you need some other mechanism to operate it. So there's a foot switch, and various other bits and bobs, like uh, you have a, a tray here that you can you can pull out to make life uh, easier for the surgeon. Now, before I go into too much detail about uh, this machine here, um, uh, there's a little bit of a story about how I came across this. Um, Mike from Mike's Electric Stuff uh, tipped me off about this one uh, because he spotted that it was local to me. Uh, and, and yes, it was. It was only maybe a 15-minute drive away, so... Um, I bid on this and won. Nobody else bid against me. Um, it uh, turns out the guy I bought this from uh, buys and scraps uh, various bits of uh, stuff, uh, ranging from you know junk vacuum cleaners to um, IT equipment. Now it turns out that he actually bought this from our local vets, um, so uh, it has a sort of a bit of a local connection. Now when it went into the possession of the person I bought it from it was in a working condition. Um, unfortunately, there's no hand tools or anything with it, but um, as far as we knew, the machine was actually operational. Now, unfortunately, I actually got the guy to bring it round to my house because I probably wouldn't have been able to fit it in the car. And unfortunately, he dropped it off the back of his van. So, unfortunately, it doesn't work anymore. It um, fell on its screen, smashed it completely. It doesn't look like it, but there was actually a glass screen in here and the LCD has been busted as well. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to turn this on to show you the sort of things you might find on the menus um, because there's going to be little point to that. To be honest um, it probably wouldn't really show us that much without the hand tools and various things like that then it'll probably fail all its diagnostic procedures anyway so I think the best thing to do with this is take uh, some bits out and get up to the lab and we can actually look at it properly. Okay, so we're just going to go handheld for the moment. Uh, this is the base of the unit. Um, then we have that, uh, that table that came out. So this is on a, a rather nice extendable arm. And you can also raise it as well. So that's uh, quite a nice uh, handy thing to have. Um, in the base here we have nothing much it's just an empty storage compartment on the base here we have uh, the foot switch and on the top we have the screen obviously with um, various uh, controls on um, obviously I'm not going to be able to go into much detail about those because the screen doesn't work um, underneath there we have the outputs to all of the hand tools so that is the FACO tool and then we have a couple of other tools here. I'm not really sure what they're for. I've not really been able to find a huge amount of information about what all the tools are used for. On the side here we have uh, this pump arrangement. So this is a peristaltic pump. Um, so there would normally be a pipe system in here and then this this wheel here slowly pushes the fluid round into this section. and the pipes would run through this. I'll go into this in a bit more detail when, when we get up to the lab. And around on this side we just have a, uh, a storage compartment in the side, um, some little bits of documentation. Uh, we have a user control pad which just plugs into the front and just allows you to remotely operate it. Down on the base we have a uh, little printer get it open. So there's a little printer mechanism in there. And round on the back we have uh, two access panels. You can see this, this is where some of the damage was. 
occurred when it uh, dropped out of the back of the van. So we have all the uh, connections up to the main um, processing bit at the top here. Um, we have this big metal arm, which is on a um, like a ram arrangement. So this can this can actually raise and lower. Now this takes this is just a hanger for the saline solution, which runs into the pump. Uh, this is all plastic. Um, there is actually a metal chassis inside, but uh, all the doors and most of the, the external bits are just plastic. Um, in the base here, we have uh, a number of different things. Um, this looks like it's some kind of mains filter. Um, we've got the, the end of that uh, arm, which allows it to extend the water bottle upwards. Um, we've got a few little control boxes in here. So inside here you can see the uh, that is the back of the printer. Uh, we've got a control box here which connects to this uh, which presumably controls the activation of the uh, to raise and lower the water bottle. Um, up in there we've got a gold box with some pipes running into it. I believe that's an air supply so that pipe comes from this silver box in the back there, so uh, presumably that's some kind of pump and filter arrangement. Um, we've got various power cables, etc., to run up to the main unit. So, so what I'm going to do is remove all the major components out of this. Uh, so we've just got the wheeled chassis bit, which I can dump outside, and then we'll have a look at the other bits in detail. Now this top section, uh, which has all the all the gubbins in it, this um, actually detaches from the main unit. There's a um, a locking thing around the back here, so you just have to pull that and turn it, and it releases this uh, from the base.
Right, so uh, that's um, everything stripped out of the main chassis. Uh, we've got that little printer. We've got this mains filter, mains control box something. Um, this box, which is something to do with the air supply. This uh, large thing. And the foot switch. And we have the uh, big long pokey thing. Right, let's get all this up to the lab and uh, in part two uh, we can go through each item and uh, see if there's anything interesting.